Right, I've just kicked off the export for five days video vlog 505 and the time now is seven minutes to one and the clocks go back in about an hour's time I believe Hello, it's a few hours later and I think it's about half past ten in the morning. I knew it was half past ten in the morning. Yes, so lots of hours have passed since the last time we saw each other. And another early hours one. The export finished sometime in the morning. Uh, don't know when. I got up in the middle of the night. Kicked off the upload. I'd already done the thumbnail, funny enough. I came to a point. Well, I was editing that I liked, so I did an immediate thumbnail. So that was so. As long as I did a thumbnail and the upload from the laptop, I can go back to bed. And I got up again, then I checked on the upload, it's finished. Then I went back to bed again, and then. I, when I got up, my, my eyes were so sticky I couldn't focus, you know. But eventually I could. And then when I got back to bed, I thought, oh, no point me doing the rest of, uh, of the top and tail on the app because I'm tired. It turns out I wasn't, you know. So I did the top and tail, did the title, description, tags, date, and end screen all on the mobile phone. Then I went back to bed after that and later on got up. Of course the clocks went back so I had to I mean the, the mobile devices sort themselves out but the uh, thermostat needed um, a manual adjustment. That leads on to having cereals, watching the video and then I got an email from Netflix and it says would you like another free month and I couldn't believe my luck and that means I can watch Stranger Things and in fact I went straight into Stranger Things and watched the first five minutes of it and it's what I expected, it's, hoped, it's what I hoped it would be about and I can't wait to watch the rest of it, so it looks like I'll be uh, on to another binge session shortly. It's for a month anyway, but I don't want to delay in case it uh, and lose out. So it looks like I'll be, I don't know how many series there have been, is it? Are we into year three or year two? I think we're up to, I think we're into year two now, aren't we? I'm not sure, I don't know. But so far I know it's set in 1983. There are a bunch of kids who like the Goonies. Um, I think there's, if you look at the back, it's one of the, I think it's made by people who like Easter eggs, you know. So if you look carefully, you might spot a poster of the Goonies or something. I don't know, I'm just, it's the sort of thing I'm, I'm expecting. But yeah, I just like the idea of. Uh, a Goonies style TV show. It sounds it looks like fun. So that's that's just wonderful news to get that. Um, coming off of um, now TV's uh, 
entertainment pass and I think yesterday I came off the film pass and then suddenly Netflix appears as another free go and uh, just good luck you know just amazing and uh, because the laptop's been on all, week, all night I thought I'd let it rest so uh, just, I've just uh, seen my video and I've been watching some YouTube videos on Da Vinci these all exporting settings and I'm looking at the room and I think it's well it's cloudy but it's the sunshine there it's quite bright as you can see it's quite bright so uh, I thought I'd get my shoes on and get out while it's nice and while it's early then I can come back and then crack on with file transfers, deletions and new, exp new editing. So yesterday, I don't even know what I watched yesterday. Temple, I remember watching Temple. Well that mischief was soft anyway. Um, seeing two episodes instead of one, and the second episode being a future, um, a future one, which you can watch now. If that makes any sense. So yes, I think Daniel Mays is Daniel Mays's performance in Temple is is really good. He's he's, he's like a sort of bumbling actor you know you, you think he's <laughs> you think there's no performance there but there is and uh, you think oh he's just played it by the numbers but if you look at his face you can see the the expression is there the acting is there and of course he got nominated for um, a BAFTA for Line of Duty no, I don't want to say too much about that if you haven't seen it because it'll be a, a real major spoiler. But yeah, so he, he's a real standard. I mean, Mark Strong is very dependable. He's like the John Mills of today. But Daniel Mays is the standout in this series. Yes. Why am I talking about Temple? Anyway, I'm off for a drive.
so I'm going to transfer files that's going to take a few minutes so I'll watch capture yeah capture and then I'll get cracking on the idiot for a couple of hours break for chili and an episode of Stranger Things I'm just looking at the uh, YouTube settings on uh, or YouTube I was going to say YouTube settings on Google which is true it's, it's an actual Google website not a Google result from a search I'm just closing it um, because my, my two hours are up and so I've logged out of DaVinci Resolve I thought before I log out I just want to look at the frame rates because I've been watching this uh, video and I was quite surprised to see something the bit rate for for a 1080 video is 8 should be 8000 anyway it's something I'm gonna consider when I come to the export so what I'm going to do now is have chili con carne on toast with coffee Nescafe coffee and I'm going to now I've got Netflix I'll come across two things that I want to see as on as well as stranger things and there's probably films that I, I wasn't able to see on now TV that are on Netflix as well but I haven't come across any except for one and I think it's a Netflix film anyway and oh, <laughs> just realized the Irishman comes up next month and the past would have run out by then and that's on net as a Netflix produced film and this film I'm talking about is called murder mystery and there's an interesting story about that because one of my favorite films is a film called The Last of Sheila and it starred James Coburn and a kind of Janet Lee Wall, Janet Lee Psycho Wall and a lot of other stars because um, you've got all these suspects and all these suspects are big names like James Mason, Richard Benjamin, Joan Hackett I think was in it, Ian McShane, a young Ian McShane, this is 1974 Four, I think Raquel Welsh who have I forgotten I think they're the main I think that's all of them because Sheila I only had a sneak of it. it was almost a spoiler there so I thought surely somebody would have done a reboot or, or not a reboot because it's not a series it's I mean a a remake of Last of Sheila because it is quite a very good sort of who done it with games thrown in and I googled it and some writer I can't remember who it was some writer was going to do a, a writer remake and when I looked at this writer sort of uh, what he's up to now um, he did something called he wrote this film murder mystery and I'm thinking because this murder mystery seems to be on a yacht because Sheila is the name of a, a yacht as well as the wife of James Coburn who got run over by these suspects and I'm thinking murder, it's murder mystery it's on a yacht it's got all these uh, suspects played by oh my gosh Jennifer Aniston is in it Adam Sandler uh, David Williams it's probably others as well but I can't, those three are the ones I can immediately remember and I'm thinking 
it's similar but this is more because in the 70s it was a bit more kitsch you can't really for today's audience it's not sophisticated so maybe if you turn it into a comedy which i think this seeing it's jennifer aniston and adam sandler i'm thinking murder mystery is going to resemble a lot of last of sheila so i'm going to watch that now i think with the chili con carne and see if if there is any um if i can compare it to last of sheila and if i can i will report back afterwards Right, the laptop's off. I'm going to, uh, I'm charging it as well. So that's what's going to happen next. As for the other film, there was another one. It's a Steven Soderbergh film. I think it's a Netflix production. And it's, I think it's called Laundry, Laundry, Laundromat. Laundromat, and that's got Meryl Streep in it, Gary Oldman, to name two. I can't remember who else is in it, but Steven Soderbergh as well, that's on there. So it's another film I want to see. So it's, I might try and fit that in later on today, after another two hours break. So it's looking good today. I've just seen Murder Mystery. The other members of the cast were, I think, Gemma Arterton. Uh, oh yes, Luke Evans, Terence Stamp, and I believe that is all. Of the names I recognise and faces too. And uh, was it similar to Last of Sheila? Well, there was a yacht, as in Sheila, and Monte Carlo. I believe James Coburn's yacht did go to south of France, so. Monte Carlo may have been in this film as well. It was in this film, for sure. And that was all. Those were the only two similarities. It was, uh, it was well, well directed, well edited. Um, Adam Sandler was good so was Jennifer Aniston uh, but yeah I don't know and the the, uh, the set pieces were good So, it was a good fun film, but I couldn't wait for it to finish to be honest. <laughs> uh, I think it, it didn't have that I don't know. I think it's over time that that was long ago. That sort of film, filmmaking, but uh, I don't know. It was the gags sort of hit or miss. It didn't really. I don't know. I. No, it lacks something. I can't put my finger on it. I think it was hard, hard to follow, really. 
and I think there was too much over the top performances so it was a bit silly I think that's the word I'm looking for but the production was well done I mean car chases and car crashes the stunts you know were there any stunts? well in the car chasing anyway I've said too much as it is more than I should have so I'm ready to commence with the uh, edit and in two hours time I'll stop and watch the first episode of Stranger Things I'm an hour ahead of my scheduled break because I've completed the edit I've kicked off the uh, export and it's a, uh, <laughs> um, a custom export that I found on a YouTube video but it's um, a couple of boxes I've not ticked before well one box I've not ticked before something called data levels it should be four so that if I'm passing something like a bush it will try and capture all the detail as possible and secondly I've gone down on the bitrate normally you take the bitrate which is defaulted to 10 and you times it by 3 or 4 well this time I've gone down I've gone the other direction I've gone down to 8 megabits per second and it's valid because it's on the Google's YouTube ideal settings page so I'm really helpful, uh, hopeful because um, if you set it to anything else it's going to convert it down to, to this 8 anyway so if I kick it off at 8 oh if I kick it off at 8 the quality is going to be 8 not well apparently 1080p progression is 8 megabytes per second so I've set it basically if you it's going to reduce it to 8 anyway but if you help assist YouTube with these settings it will compress it quickly or it won't do any extra compression it will help YouTube anyway so maybe less is more instead of the other way around which is what I've been doing so that's it those two are the custom settings export is kicking off I'm an hour ahead of schedule so I'm gonna squeeze in uh, an episode of strange stranger things Or should I watch Laundry Mat? No. I'll watch Let's Stranger Things, then I'll. Or should I watch Laundry Mat? I think it's called Laundry Mat. Strange title for a film. I know it's Laund Laundro something. And it's a Steven Soderbergh film. I think it's his last fil uh, latest film. So. Yeah, I think I watched Steven Soderbergh. I've never ever had people over where food wasn't either halfway done or nowhere near close to me. The time is eight minutes to nine in the evening. Of course it's in the evening, it's still the same vlog and the export has finished the size of the file is just under 2 2 gig which is uh, kind of surprising but on the other hand not surprising because of this custom setting it has a bit rate of 8 8 megabytes per second and it seems to have 
and it, it's booked in two hours. I was going to say it's faster for for half an hour file to export in two hours is I think it's pretty good. So anyway, the video is actually yesterday's vlog is now live at just before nine in the evening. So that's quite an achievement. The thing is, I don't know how good the quality is. That's the, uh, that's the, uh, I'm excited because I'm expected to be good, but I think I'm going to be really disappointed. But anyway, here goes. Um, if it's pulled, if you see it and then you, and the next thing you find it's been pulled, then this is the reason why the quality is probably so bad I just couldn't possibly leave it up but when I scrubbed the mp4 file on the desktop it looked okay looked good um, so I've got a good feeling but I'm, I've always got a good feeling anyway what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make myself a sandwich or two uh, have a cup of coffee and crisps sit down and watch it and then that's it Edit the, the editing is done for the day and I can uh, watch Stranger Things I saw Laundromat which starred Gary Oldman Anthony Banderas was in it Meryl Streep um, Jeffrey Wright. Who else? Oh, is it Melissa Rauch from Big Bang Theory? The one who plays Bernadette? She's in it. David Schwimmer's in it. Patrick. Is it Robert Patrick? The guy who, play, who, was, in, who was the Terminator in Terminator 2. He was, he's in it. Who else? Don't know. There's a couple of English actors in it. I don't know their names, but one of them was in Game of Thrones. And he was really good. He was really good. I mean, they're all good in it. I mean, they have to do these long scenes that are done in one take. And Meryl Streep did it, did one, does one, later on in the film, and she's not, not, not only is she reciting the words, she's doing things, you know, she's changing costume in, in a way. And Gary Oldman and Anthony Barris have got lots of these long scenes shot in one take. So it's really nerve wracking for actors, but they pulled it off, they pulled it off. It's a really good film. It's one of these. It's it's not a satire, but it's so true that it, it's, it's a satire itself. But it's called. It's based on the Panama Papers, about these um, companies that exist on paper to avoid uh, capital tax 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 gains. Oh, it's tax exemption anyway. And uh, it does break the fourth wall in a couple of ways because they're talking to the camera. Well, well, two of them are. Uh, well, Neil Street as well. It's at one point, but it's really good. I mean, Steven Soderbergh. He, he doesn't disappoint. He's my favourite director, so that was really great to see this. I've also I've also got Limey recorded from um, Sky Sky Television. I'm looking forward to watching that. That's got Terence Stamp in, who I saw earlier in Murder Mystery. Right, so that's the plan now. Make a sandwich and watch the video and hopefully I won't be too disappointed.